Hello, welcome back, or welcome and subscribe if you're new. All right, these are the two molds I'm working with today. In my previous video, I showed you where I got these. And here is my concrete mix. I'm only using concrete and my acrylic polymer, which is Sika. That's the name of the brand. And I'm mixing it to a little pancake battery consistency. And of course, if you haven't already seen, I am making a turntable. In order to make this turntable from scratch, I am using concrete with my molds. And I'm also going to be trying something a little new this video as well. And it's just a mini experiment, nothing major. I'm gonna go ahead and add the black charcoal. And this is just um, char coconut, what is it? coconut charcoal, activated charcoal, there we go, that's the name. And I'm trying to see how black I can get, make this vessel. Cause I've seen that charcoal can add a pigment but it's not the black I'm looking for. It just turns into like a gray, dark gray. So it's kind of a waste. And of course, I don't know if Sika lightens the colors too. So I have to look into that as well in future experiments. But as you can see, it's just giving me a dark gray tone. But I'm still on the way to getting that black vessel for y'all. Alright, so um, after I made that mess, I'm going to start with the larger one. This is going to be the top of my turntable. And this is the one I'm going to fill up with resin. So if you want to see the resin portion of this video instead of this, you can go ahead and go about maybe 10-15 minutes into it, <laughs> I think. And I'm just going to go ahead and take out all my air bubbles. And this is just to have a base layer for it um this tray mold is not the most even on the inside and it's not the most sturdy to be a tray mold by itself it's kind of it's very thin so i'm putting it to use somewhere else i'm gonna go ahead and take out all the air bubbles make it have a smooth bottom spray with alcohol and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom one pour go spray that with alcohol so all the air bubbles pop if they're on the surface awesome all right so let me tell you it took um, a couple of hours to cure it doesn't cure the same it cures longer than it would with water with the Sika, so I'm probably about probably next day in because I probably got busy and just decided to be molding these the next day. All right, so here's my top one, which is quite larger, and my bottom one is a bit smaller. So I am gonna go ahead and sand the bottom so we can have like a smooth bottom, no razor sharp edges, and I also put the rest of what I was left of my concrete of my concrete um, mixture into like a little small slope mold which I haven't done anything with. Alright so now I'm gonna fill my bottom portion with more concrete and that's because that's the bottom of the stand of the turntable. So I'm shaking it up and let me tell you um, I think what happened is it broke and I don't think it cured long enough so I may have taken out the mold and they hadn't cured long enough so maybe they didn't cure as long as I thought but it broke so now I have to start over with the bottom portion and know next time to let it cure longer and not to shake it as much and I was sad but we're gonna fix this right up and I'm not fixing it right now, no. It's it's gone to the point of no return. Alright, so let's move that out the way and we're just gonna start with another tray. 
with our mold. All right, here's a new tray. It's lighter, of course, because I ran out of charcoal, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill it. And this was not as pancake battery consistency, but at this point, I'm just like, this project took me at least, I believe a week, a week. Not continuously, because once I made these um, bases, I think I took a break and later on did the resin. And I'm trying to make sure it's filled and all those corners get filled as well so it becomes just one solid round tray. And you can always just stop it here. And also um, for the top portion, you can also fill that with concrete. I did it in this video because um, I also was trying to play around with the resin too. So I didn't fill it up and I just went, you know, layer by layer. And I let that one cure and I sand it. And I'm just going to use that darker gray portion as the bottom. That'll be the top. And I'm going to go ahead and sand that again as well. And a couple days in, here I am sanding in the inside and I'm going to go ahead and paint it black. I'm painting it black. All the inside and the outside. Because resin, I have to make sure that I paint the surface first before I sit there and depend on the resin to cover. When that's usually not what happens. I mean, it's not a requirement. And also, I, like I said, you can always just fill the inside with concrete and just put the resin on the bottom. That way you just use, use less resin. I'm not selling this or anything. This is just a craft project. Um, this is probably something I would use once I figure out how to connect the turntables to the bottom and top. Because I never made one before, it was my first time. Um, so it'll just be sitting on my counter. Alright, so now that is painted all covered. And now the bottom portion. Apparently concrete likes to absorb any liquid that comes across it. So um, it did have a little pores that it sucked into or sank into, I like to say. All right, so the top part is all painted and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to seal that, but here's the fun part. Here is the fun part. I have my black resin. This is black paint that I put in there and it looks it looks like you know what if you want to stop at this very point and just make the the turntable black it looks so good like that and if you actually don't even want to fill the tray with resin it can actually at this point i would definitely say that if you want to stop at this point you very much can just make sure all the resin is even out on the corners and the top and there you go it's completely sealed and if you want to put resin on the sides too you can do that but I feel like at this point, it looks extremely nice. But me, this is all experimental project, trying to get, you know, my feet wet with resin. So um, I did learn after making this video that you need to mix your resin for at least three to five minutes. So um, that way you don't have a sticky but I think the resin I'm using too kind of like it's not all that great it's not great a resin because no matter how much I mixed it I feel like it still took too long to cure if it cures at all all right so I'm making a teal color and the color scheme I'm going for of course is my business colors which is teal turquoise gold black um, and a, I guess an accent of white, but I didn't put any white in this one. I just wanted to do the teal, gold, and black. Here I am mixing resin again. I use black paint. I'm actually gonna um, pour this one to see how it looks like if I pour it. And here's the thing. When it comes to black, it's a dominant color. So it will absorb as much color as possible literally like a black hole so I'm putting in the blue and I'm just like I should know this as an artist honestly I should know better not to just you know make black the main color and it's sitting there absorbing all other colors 
where I'm adding more teal, just trying to get a design out of it so you get the feel of how resin flows, how resin flows to make designs. Because I've never done this before. This is the first time that I've like made, you know, wanted like an end result with resin with like an actual design or whatever fluid art that it gives me. And of course, excuse the glare, but I try to darken this video as much as possible to reduce as much glare as possible but of course my light is still in there all right so I'm using my heat gun using my heat gun trying to see what's gonna come out of this Ooh, now this gold is gold paint and golden Buddha by mad Micah's mixed together Ooh, that looks amazing and the thing about this gold that I put, it's very dense. So a lot of this gold tends to sink to the bottom. So the end results will have like tiny bits of gold in it. And I didn't realize that it was going to do that. All right, here I am putting more flow into it. As you can see, the gold has sank to the bottom. I'm just like, where did it go? So it's actually better to use mica powders with resin than it is paint, especially since the paint is so dense. So the colors will more, more than likely sink. All right, we're getting a flow here and I'm liking it. And I'm not sure what I'm doing right now with this gold that keeps sinking and keeps disappearing, but I'm, I'm liking the end results here. I haven't let any of this cure, so, um, and I kept putting a heat gun to it, so, I mean, all my resin experts, go ahead and you already know what I'm doing wrong. I'm putting way too much heat on my resin, and I'm, I'm still trying to get this gold to pop up, even though this, this, this right here is a nice and cool design. I quite, I quite like it. And I decided to just, I don't know what I was doing at this point. I was like spraying gold here and there. Oh. Yeah, I dropped some mica powder into it and I was like, hmm. I'm kind of liking it now that I'm seeing the gold. some more I was like this is giving this is giving a lot of niceness here it looks like a cesspool of space art kind of sort of more like a hot spring than anything and this is where things got really bad and you can see I overheated the resin so now it's rising and I'm like wait a minute what yeah it's it's a hot spring at this point very very dangerous I'm like trying to spray it trying to see why this thing coming out alive I decided to just lift off that top portion that's hardened really badly and at this point, I'm just like, I really want to give up. And I just lift up that top portion and I threw it in the garbage. And this is what it ended up with at the end of the night. Now this right here is art. I should have stopped right here and just covered it with the resin because it looks amazing. But I went ahead and made sure that now that it's cured, I'd be on my pretty much third layer kind of. Um, probably the first layer started drying when I was doing the pores and then I did a second layer and then yeah it turned out like that. So now I'm making sure I tape the bottom which I think I forgot to do. Don't remember if that was the case or is it because I knew that I wasn't going to overflow the resin just yet because I was going to fill it.
Yeah, circling, t t taping, masking circle is kind of hard. It looks nice, and uh, I feel like I should have left it like that, but I was like, let me continue. Maybe it'll get better. You can only hope, right? So I made sure this time I'm mixing my resin pretty decently. And don't do what I do and put my resin in this glass bowl that I can no longer use for anything else. But experimenting always does make you do stupid things. Like a clear cup would have made more sense than these cups right here. So here I'm mixing mica powder this time and I'm trying to get a tea of color. Um, I forget the name of these colors. I know one is like a ocean blue, like a, I think the dark green one is snake eyes and Tahitian blue or something like that. Anywho, more teal this time, less black less gold what was i thinking when i was making this video less gold really but look at the teal though and you're not gonna whenever you mix colors you're not gonna get the same exact colors each time like the, that teal probably was so many different variations and this time i think i added black mica i think it's called black oyster mica powder in this mixture and it also helps you know not exactly absorb all the other colors but also gives it a, a nice little sparkling sheen to it as well all right so bye bye layer if you like this one i like it too i feel like the mistake was kind of like but i'm gonna cover it all up and maybe not use so much heat gun this time here i'm swirling it it's actually more mixing the colors than anything that's pretty much why I not, don't really want <laughs> I want all the colors to show here I am more black this time you can see the black this time has a nice little silvery tone to it because the mica powder has a little glitter Blue has officially went somewhere. More blue. More teal. Sorry. Teal. More gold. Pretty. And now we use our heat gun to see where this goes. Because apparently the heat gun is really the mastermind behind the fluid art. Oh, this is pretty nice too. Try hard not to turn this thing green. Okay, let me swirl a little bit. Maybe we can get some action going. I'm like, hmm. Not a desired look. So there's no absolute desired look, but it's just not what I'm looking for. Even though it looks nice, it's just to my eyes, it's like meh. Like if it stopped right here and dried, I don't think I'd like it. Especially, I'm that type of artist where I just let things like flow together and create something. So I'm making something out of it. And I think that's my problem. I'm like, any other person, this looks amazing to them. Like, oh wow, that looks cool. But to me, I'm just like, letting it create itself is the type of artist I am. But I mean, it's just kind of making me cringe a little. I'm like, dang, like. Make something, and this is what it made in the end. <laughs> I think I probably sprayed it with alcohol, and that's what it made. 
so here is the final layers. And I would use more teal. Now the teal is looking a bit more blue. And I'm just like, why? All this effort of making this teal color. So here I have this more aqua marine. Ooh, that's the better way to say it. A little more aquamarine. Almost torqu almost turquoisey. Almost. And then here's the gold. Here's our final layer. So this one has to go well. And I have to like it. Or we're gonna be back here again. I don't care a week from now. I am spraying with alcohol trying to see, okay. Now that I sprayed alcohol, it's gotta go somewhere, right? It's gotta something's gotta give. Um but you started making these little, I guess they call them cells. And here, I'm like, oh, okay. The gold is showing. It's sitting there right on top. Here I'm smoothing out the sides. I'm like, I'm kind of liking this end result. And you know, the gold is trying to make its escape again. I think this time I only used mica powder and I didn't put any paint. Kind of looks like I'm tired of this gold sinking. And you know, I sat there and left it on the shelf, I mean on the counter, and I'm like, let me hot gun it again. Let me hot gun it again, <laughs> trying to get like a different design. Let me move this there. Oh, that's This is why I can't do fluid art because I'm just like, this should be here, this should be there, and I'm not even a Virgo. So this is the end result. Here's the little metal that I'm using for my turntable that I will screw it together later. Here is the final piece. I like it. It's used at my style of art, but I really, really like it, and it's showing the colors I need. I wish that blue was a little more turquoise -y, but um, I like it. Do I love it? Sure, might as well, right? Alright, subscribe for more, stay tuned for more.